Hey Virgo, it's Star. This is your September reading. <clears throat> Excuse me, let's get started. All right, sorry, I have my dog's hair all over the place. <laughs> okay, Virgo. I haven't used these cards in so long, they're huge. All right, let's see. Ace of Swords. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Pisces, or a Scorpio. Could be female, but doesn't have to be. Alrighty, we have the full reverse. For Virgo, <clears throat> Sun, Moon, Rising, and the Two of Cups. Oh, I feel like that one wants to come out. Four of Swords, Reverse. Ten of Pentacles. Pentacles, the devil, turned over here the chariot all right okay at the bottom we have the hierophant I was suspecting that <laughs> ten of cups three of wands reverse yeah so so here's the thing I feel like um we have a, a flight risk <laughs> and it might be you I feel like you are involved in a relationship that either it already is okay it already is committed or it's getting to the point where you know it's it, you're having those conversations or it's time for those conversations, you know, whatever it is. Um, you, there's feelings. Okay. Uh, it's, it's like, this makes you anxious. This is, this devil here, why is he here? Because this is like your, your kryptonite, your, 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 this type of situation where things are starting to, you know, come together, they're starting to fall into place, um, you're in this, this loving relationship seems to be going somewhere it's very stable everybody's understanding each other you know all the pieces fit there's an acknowledgement of feelings and expression of feelings and emotions you know they're there 
Virgo. But the fact that you know they're there, the fact that you have come to like rely on this person, maybe even more so the fact that this person has come to rely on you. Making you uneasy. Uneasy. Not liking it. Or somebody doesn't. It's either you or the other person. Somebody does not like it. And when they start to get into this comfortable, comfortable place, like this, this uh, warm and fuzzy place, I feel like somebody has this bad habit, perhaps, of like starting to pick at things. What's wrong with it? There's something wrong with it. Well, why don't you do things this way? Or why don't you do things that way? Or well, well let's just switch things up here. Or that, you know, you know. Just finding fault, finding reasons to switch it up, finding reasons why things should be different. Um, you know, because why not? Because it can't be too comfortable. Just the devil tells us it's, we need to move on. This is... This is not, this is not, mm -mm, uh uh, not for us, not good, too much stability, too much happiness, something's not right, something's going to go wrong, if there's too much stability, too much happiness, something's going to go wrong, so we better get the hell out of here. Let's find where the flaws are and get the hell out of here. Did I shuffle these? No, I didn't. I did not. Oh, well. I think it's the depth of the feelings. I think if somebody was involved in, in this long-term relationship and, and they knew that the other person was totally in love with them and yet they themselves were just neutral, they were okay. Like they love, they, they, there was love there, but they could do without them. You know, they had control then it would be okay. But the fact that there's depth in these feelings, there's there's real emotion, there's real love, that's a problem because there's a lack of control. Once there is that lack of control, no. Game over. We're not doing that. playing that game because that's where you get hurt right that's too much of a risk I don't know why I just remembered, um, uh, why am I going to say that for the, the scene in, um, Breaking Bad where like they just committed all kinds of atrocities, like killing God knows how many people. And, um, <laughs> I don't know. 
I don't know what they had just done in this one guy, but <laughs> he was like, oh, that's not, that's not very Christian. <laughs> After he just like killed, I don't know how many people. Anyway, I don't know why I just thought of that. But, um, It's like somebody wants what they want and they want the recognition, you know, for having the, the, the nice, the nice family, the nice, all, you know, picture perfect, but it's not, they, they don't want it all to be real, real. They don't want the feelings to be real because, you know, like I said, that's, that's too risky. So... Mm, they're not like fully invested. They don't want to be fully invested. It's just not fair. It's not fair because one person is giving it their all and the other person is a coward. I said it. Yeah. I don't know if that's you. It could be you. Sorry, but yeah. One person is fully invested and the other person is a coward. They don't want to get their feelings hurt. But that's the name of the game. The truth, Ace of Swords. The truth is that you can't be fully committed that way. King of Pentacles reverse. Somebody is not fully committed. They may think they are because they might have signed a paper you know, a document saying, I am fully committed to so-and-so. But no, that's not the truth. There's that devil again. Somebody could be dealing with a Capricorn because there's some strong Capricorn energy. <clears throat> oh, and the Three of Swords. It's so hurtful. It's so hurtful. The truth is going to sting. It's going to sting, man, because somebody went into this knowing this shit that they did not want to develop these strong, deep feelings, you know, and that's just not nice. It's just not Christian. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with Christianity, but it's not nice. It's really not cool to lie to people that way because it's like you're stringing somebody along thinking that you're fully invested just the way they are when in reality you're not and you know to their defense this might not be like this person this may be subconsciously done you know that this might not be fully I might be too hard on them like the, the, they might not have thought this through all right Queen of Cups Three of Pentacles reverse yeah Three of Pentacles is about teamwork. So, again, somebody's like got their full heart there on the table, and the other person just no. They they're not willing to put their heart on the line. They they'd rather just disappear. That's that's what the struggle is. It's like it's almost like. Oh, excuse me. Oh, the, the, the Empress reversed. What? Hmm. I, I feel like it's some kind of like, I don't know, like a sick game, like a competition. Like you're not, you know, it's like, it's like some kind of competition. Like, you're not going to get me 
to love you more and get me vulnerable. You know, it's like that kind of thing. It only means that this person was like really super hurt at some point in their life. For them to have this type of reaction. Yeah, that, didn't I just say that? So Six of Cups is about the past. So something happened in their past. This could have been a past relationship. They were really super in love. They may have had some kind of soulmate, a karmic soulmate or something that did them dirty. And that's why they don't take chances anymore when it comes to love. They just do not do it because they got hurt. Yeah. So when they have opportunities, yeah, maybe they take the opportunity, but they don't they don't fight for love the way you know normally people do. It's just not something they do. Two of Cups, let's see, this relationship, Two of Cups, the Fool, okay. All right. The Lovers, my gosh. This is a deep connection. The thing is, like, somebody didn't, they didn't bargain for this. They didn't think that this was going to be such a deep connection. They maybe approached this as, oh, this is just going to be like a one night stand or some kind of like superficial connection. They really didn't think this through, you know, it, like this was going to be anything substantial. And it, it, it actually is very substantial. It ended up being something very substantial and they did not bargain for this. They didn't bargain catching feelings. They didn't bargain you being in their life for this long or so long. Or They didn't bargain having to deal with any of this. They don't want to think about this. They don't want to deal with any of this. They want to like bury their heads in work. They want to be distracted. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to think about it. They don't want to deal with any of it. And th again, this might be you. This may very well be you. They don't want to talk about it. They want to pretend this doesn't exist. Let's just continue on with life. Move on. Nothing to see. Ten of Pentacles. Nine of Swords Reverse. So for some of you, this Ten of Pentacles hasn't even... It may be a topic of conversation or you may be trying to bring it up as a topic or somebody is. You know, this is something that, like I said, this could be the next step or this could be... You, you know, like this is something that maybe like a topic of interest for someone and for another person it's just not interesting at all they don't care about it at all this is not in their future they may pretend it is but they don't they don't want it they don't they didn't think this would get this far to even have to have this conversation judgment reverse they didn't foresee it at all. The hangman in reverse. Whew. But they have come to this realization that the connection with you is a lot more than, you know, they ever, like I said, bargained for. This has gotten out of control. It's gotten out of hand. Star in reverse. Strength.
they don't know what to do because they feel like if they continue to hold back, they're going to lose this opportunity, which they know that they're happy with you. That's the thing. It's like they're, they're so confused. They know they're happy with you. They know that you're everything that they want or vice versa. You know they're ha you're happy with them. They're everything that you want, but you're fucking scared. <laughs> Devil. I don't know how that card came out. Okay, let's see. Devil. Queen of Swords. Three of Wands, Reverse. Seven of Cups reverse. Let me get one more. Yeah, making a decision. Somebody just needs to get past the fear and just make a choice. Regardless of, you know, no one has any guarantees tarot or not or no one has any guarantees of what the future brings nobody does anything can change so regardless of that of not having any guarantees for the future Getting past that fear and making a choice anyway. Taking action. Chariot. Someone's resisting, man, taking that action. They are so scared. Magician. The Empress in reverse. <sighs> They're afraid to move forward and actually manifest what they know they desire because I feel like once they do that, they may, they're afraid that they're going to come up short. You know, like they're not going to be good enough. They're not going to have anything to offer, really. Or the other person won't. You know, like, anything can happen. And yeah, anything can happen. You may just be happy. <laughs> Four of Cups reverse. It really is just a matter of letting go of those negative emotions that... And this person has been holding on from that past, that past relationship. It's like the, you or, I mean, whoever it is that is holding on to those past emotions. Every relationship after that has paid for that relationship that caused the heartbreak. And that's not fair. Whoa. Seven of Swords. Yeah. Somebody betrayed them, and they have not been able to get this out of their mind. They continue to hold on. They continue to hold on to this um, pain, this resentment of whoever it was that betrayed them. And until they are able to let go of all of the, the those negative emotions, which is also this devil, it's just not going to let them live their life going forward it's going to hold them back and not allow for any new relationship to flourish so it's really a shame because there seems to be a really beautiful connection here if only it's allowed to grow Okay, 
okay, yeah, see, we have imprisonment and despair, but I don't, I don't take this in the literal sense. I feel like somebody is imprisoned and in despair in their own thoughts, their own mind, their own memories of what has happened to them in the past, and it's not allowing them to be present in the moment and what they're living right now and allowing them to plan for their future because they're so engrossed in what has happened to them in the past, they can't get over it. So what is it going to take? It's going to take work. It's going to take facing those emotions and, and, and fessing up to it and saying, listen, I was hurt. I need to work through this. But if someone's just ignoring it and pretending like they're so nonchalant about these feelings and they're just going to lose everything and everyone that they love. And by the time they realize it, it may just be too late. So we do have here distant horizons. There, there's just so much potential, so much potential for for beautiful things to happen here. Um, there, I keep focusing on this anchor. There's a potential here to go very far, but there's also potential for something to hold you down to weigh you down and so it's really it's this person it's up to this person whatever they want to do can't do anything about it it's like you can't help people to heal they have to decide whether or not they want to do it you can't push them to it because then they'll resent you and so yeah that's that's the reading i don't know if this is you virgo or if this is the person that you're dealing with. But if it's you, I feel like it's better news because you have more control over it. So there's that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed the reading, Virgo. See you guys soon. Bye.